Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So today in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and save all attachments from a SharePoint list using Explorer View. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe because I regularly upload videos. And if you have any concern, any question, anything that comes in your mind, feel absolutely free to ask. Alright guys, so let's proceed. So guys, I've already shown you a way to achieve this using uh, Microsoft Flow. But what if you want to achieve it using other ways like, uh, um, I mean, if you don't have subscription to Flow and all. So in that case, you can use this method. So right now, I have opened a list in front of me where I've got some attachments. I want to open in the uh, extra view. So if I go in this view drop down, I don't see that option. So what option do I have? The option is simple, like I need to open a document library first. So uh, I'm going to open a document library here first. Let's say I open documents. Okay. Now because this is a document library, I'm going to get the explorer view option over here once it is loaded completely. I apologize for some slow connection. So here if you go in the drop down you see view in file explorer. Click on this. Oh, it's blocked. So I'm allowing it. Pop up is blocked so I'm allowing it. Okay. Okay. So I see this uh, explorer, but my requirement is not to get from this documents. My requirement is to get from list. So what I'll do, I'll go to the site level. I'll go to this list folder. Here I'm gonna see that uh, I'm gonna search for my list. Once I'm inside the list, I see all the list forms. I do see items also, but items here uh, they don't come here. So uh, next I go to attachment. So here you see folder. So these folders actually respond to list item ID. Like in uh, first folder, I see what are the items attached to the item with ID one. Similarly for two. So if I want to copy what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all right click copy and paste anywhere I want in my system, in my accessibility. Of course, when you do this, like if you have a large uh, list where you have a lot of documents, then what I observed, like I was trying with flow, so I have done some tests with flow, so uh, it fails after some time uh, because of timeout issues and all. But if you have good network connectivity, you can use this method to copy a lot of data. And then this is absolutely fine. So I hope you like this video. Make sure to give it a like and comment. And if you have any concern, any question, anything that comes in your mind, feel absolutely free to us. Thank you guys.